walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. This, when it's loaded, will be Meteors on the unexpanded Sinclair ZX81. Another 1K game from this uh, compilation. I do have the controls for this. Uh, I was very kindly given a link to a web page that had the controls by Mark de Morose. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Right. Stop the tape. Type run. Of course, I can't actually remember the controls. But, uh, oh god. Yes, I can. So, um, I, I have the feeling these games were written for the ZX80 because it's blinking out whenever it does anything, including me hitting a control. Whoops, I'm going to die. No, I didn't. Well, that's odd. Oh, I see. I've got shields. Yeah. Oh dear. 53 light years. That is appalling. Um, now, the ZX80 can't display and run program code or receive any kind of input whilst displaying something on the screen. Did I? Uh, I think I just mullered my sentence there. Yes, if anything at all is going on, it can't display. The ZX81 can, so I think this is actually ZX80 game code. Uh, what's going on here? I don't. Okay, taking eight to find the keys, but there they are. But basically, here what you've got to do is get through the big shower of crap without running into it and you get points for every, I don't know, chunk of distance that you get through without running into something and you get like five five collisions and then it's time up and, and it tells you how far you've got but with it flashing like that whenever you do anything or whenever the screen updates it's it's shockingly rubbish there's no excuse for this on the ZX81 on the ZX80 sure but not the ZX81 Definitely the worst one of the bunch. Oh, 85 light years. That's it. We've gone three minutes and I've totally had enough because that's just rubbish. Inexcusable. On this. It shouldn't be on it. Right, now, where's the brake key? I There it is. I'm going to hit brake. And it doesn't do anything. Bugger! I don't want to play the game again. I want to hit break. Okay, now, there we go. Now let's do list. Yeah! There is your program code. 1K for that game. Peaks. No pokes, but there's some peaks there where it peaks at a memory location. I don't understand how that works. I've, I've never understood peek and poke, it's well beyond my knowledge. But the rest of it is just a few variables here and there. Uh, uh, I was going to say an if and then, but I can't see any ifs and thens. I'm very big on if then type things. They're very slow and kind of rubbish in programming terms, but they're easy for a useless coder like me because I just can't program. Yeah, okay, so that is Meteors on the ZX81. I should try loading that onto the ZX80. I have a feeling it would work. Um, that doesn't ma make it good, mind you. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching.